Hello there, Year 8, and how are we getting on? I hope you've managed to do the last two lessons that I've sent about multiculturalism. First one being, what is multiculturalism? And then last week's looking at multiculturalism in Cambridge. So this week, we're going to focus on one aspect of that multiculturalism by looking at Islam. And within Islam, we're looking at the Islamic place of worship, otherwise known as a mosque. And that is going to be our focus for the next couple of lessons. So this first screen is designed to catch you out. Which one of these four photos is the odd one out? Have a look, have a think. Which one have you said? Well, the fact is there is no odd one out. They are all mosques and pointing out that mosques form different shapes and sizes, although have a lot of similar features. And that's what we're going to look at today. What a mosque has that essentially makes it a mosque, I suppose. So here we go and look at the main features of a mosque, why those features are important. And then we're going to talk about and lead on to next week, uh, the new mosque in Cambridge in Mill Road, if you don't know about it. Um, and you can ignore the date there. It says the 1st of the 5th of 2018 because I made this PowerPoint a while ago. So what do we know? What is a mosque? Hope you can answer that. Who worships in mosques? Have you ever been to a mosque? Have you even seen a mosque? And do you know where your nearest mosque is? Because as we know, Cambridge is a multicultural city and has multi-faith people from different religions living in the same community. So to start off, give you an idea of a most spectacular mosque. You're going to watch this video. You click on the image. It takes you on a little guided tour of a mosque in Abu Dhabi. So enjoy the video and then return back here to the next slide. So I hope you enjoyed that video and here's a little summary. People of followers of the religion Islam are called Muslims. They believe there is one God, Allah, who has created everything and is all powerful. And the place of worship for Muslims is a mosque. And I hope you knew that already, but if you don't, you do now. Here's Cambridge. Now, this Cambridge photo or map, should I say, is a two or three years old and you can see there are four mosques in Cambridge but there are now five mosques in Cambridge because around here on Mill Road there is a big new mosque that we're going to focus on particularly in our next lesson and in our assessment task. So the fact is there's five mosques in Cambridge gives you an idea that you would not have five mosques had there not been a reasonably large Islamic community and that's the important fact that you don't build the facility if you haven't got the people to use it and that's one big aspect of Cambridge's multiculturalism. So here's some mosques. What similarities and differences can you see in these mosques? Well there are features that are similar and if you can look at that and you could tell me I can't hear you of course but you could point out that we have similarities in these and these and these and you will find these are common not necessarily to all mosques but very important part of the mosque and again in these images you can see the distinguishing features of some of the mosques from the outside these are of course around the world these are not the Cambridge mosques so what is it that we see here we look we've got a dome why is a dome important what do you think and this is a tower it's called a minaret do you know what they're for and why they are there? Well, we're going to find out in the next couple of slides. There we go. In this photo again, we've got a dome and a minaret. And this one again, we've got the dome and the minaret. Well, I've put um, my own face over the question, but what does the inside of a dome look? Here we go. Very important. Not all domes look the same, of course, but art and calligraphy very important in islam and decorative domes and decorative features around the inside of a mosque um, are very commonplace and here's some examples of different domes in different mosques spectacular huh look at that amazing so what do you think the dome represents or symbolizes and why are there so many patterns and so few images as such patterns and calligraphy or writing art is very important in Islam. 
Okay, so we're going to look at that in a little bit. We're going to look at the minaret first. The minaret is the tower. And what you find is that traditionally, when it's time for prayer, which is five times a day, um, although Friday is the big day in, in Islam to go to the mosque, um, the imam, the leader of the mosque, will go to the top of the tower. He will call the prayer. He will call to prayer. A very haunting Arabic sound. And the minarets traditionally was where the imam went. Although these days, sometimes they have a recording up there. Um, but in certain parts of the world, you will find that the imam still does go to the top. And then you've got the prayer hall. Inside the prayer hall, it, can, it depends on the design of the mosque. But the prayer hall speaks for itself. The musalla is the place that people go to worship. And of course, we'll find out later that the main part of the prayer hall is for the men and the women pray separately uh, to avoid distraction sometimes part of the same prayer hall sometimes in a separate prayer hall and again different aspects of different mosques the prayer hall is laid out in different ways there's the women all worshipping in a masala albeit a separate one in the same mosque you'll notice on the floor of this one there are prayer mats actually into the carpet but a prayer mat is not a necessary but generally a used thing in worship in Islam you can see on the last slide they're all facing one way and you'll find one wall of the mosque will have the mirab the mirab is kind of the central feature of worship on the inner wall and the key thing is is that Muslims always pray in the same direction called the Qibla. The Qibla points towards um, the city of Mecca, wherever you are. And in the city of Mecca, in the center of Mecca, there's a mosque and in the center of the mosque is a feature called the Kaaba, which we'll see on this next slide. Or not the next slide, but the one after. Here's some more mirabs, the direction of Mecca. Again, different designs, but all with the same function. There we go. So they're all facing this, the Kaaba in Mecca. Now, if you're in Cambridge, what you need to do is to work out where the Kaaba is in relation to where you are. Um, you can use a compass, of course, or a map, or more likely, if you go to the mosque, um, the Mirab will be on the wall facing Mecca. If you're in Mecca, then you face directly to the Kaaba. The Kaaba is said to be the central point of Islam. OK, what else do you find in a mosque? The minbar, the minbar, the raised platform from which the imam gives sermons. You will normally find a minbar in a mosque and it's normally the Friday prayer that the imam would give his sermon. And again, here we've got some different designs and different types of minbars. OK, wudu. You will normally find in a mosque an area for wudu. Wudu is the ritual washing and cleansing of the body that Muslims also always perform before prayer. And you will find a designated space and there's also a set way of washing, um, which we're not going to look at now, but is a very important part. Why do you think it's important for Muslims to be clean before prayer? Have a think about that. Why would that be important? OK, little test to finish off. And it says a word, it says with a person next to you, obviously um, a member of your family or someone two meters away. Um, you have to describe what the word is. So test yourself, see if you can remember. The Kaaba. The dome. Now we actually didn't talk about the dome, did we? The dome is designed in a way that mosque, don't forget that Islam stems from uh, the Middle East and very hot countries often you find the dome allows the air to circulate better around and also uh, reflects the sound around the mosque that's mainly what it's for as well as looking beautiful the minaret there's a mosque the minbar The Kaaba, the dome, we're going around again, aren't we, in circles, but never mind. The prayer hall, the musala. 
OK, then finally, you will find here you can print this one out or you can print out the one in the assignments on Teams. But here is your work. This is a worksheet about features of the mosque. Fill it in. Keep hold of it. Your assessment is coming in a couple of weeks time and this will be very important. So there you go. Work your way through that. And next week, we're going to focus particularly on the new mosque in Cambridge. And then we're going to put it all together in an assessment task where you design your own mosque and all these things will need to be in. More to come about that later. Don't hand this one in. Remember that the assessment task is the only one I want handing in. Have fun with it. I hope it's taught you something. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then get on Google and find out a bit more. See you soon, Year 8.